Now we've got new sightings from Can. Here's Anya Taylor Joy and Chris Hemsworth earlier at the big premiere for Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Once again, it's another huge fashion win for Anya in custom Dior and stunning Tiffany jewels. The Tiffany jewels. I'm sorry, both of us looked at the necklace and went, mm -hmm. wow, she always nails it. And we also love seeing La Roche with Naomi Campbell walk the carpet together. Such an amazing moment for them. Okay, so there's been a ton of anticipation for this premiere. And earlier today, I get the latest from the fest from movie expert Rad Simon Play, who puts on a tux for us. This is a big deal, folks. I feel underdressed and I never thought I'd say that to you. <laughs> Listen, Sonia, don't feel bad. This is me being like, I gotta rush over to the Furiosa premiere. This is how you have to dress in can when you want a handout. When you <laughs> I respect that. And you tell her joy. Her red carpet looks are becoming an extension of the movies themselves, a part of the movie's ephemera. Ferocious fears. Furiosa's flaming hot reception may be eclipsed by an unrecognizable Sebastian Stan in the 80s set Donald Trump legal thriller, The Apprentice. First of all, this is a Canadian co-production, so go Canada. Mm -hmm. We got our hand in the, the new take Trump takedown. This is a movie about Trump's rise in the 80s. It's about uh, his relationship with Roy Cohn, the notorious lawyer played by Jeremy Strong. So all yeah. of this is giving me succession vibes. And the thing is, Jeremy Strong, he's coming from succession into this story. He can't be here for the premiere because he's currently on Broadway, you know, on mm. stage for the show Enemy of the People, yeah. which just sounds so fitting for this. <laughs> Our very own David Cronenberg. He is bringing his film The Shrouds to this as well with Diane Kruger. I cannot wait to see her shine in this. But why is this also going to be a great moment for David? David's seventh time at Cannes. And this movie is very personal. And of course, David lost his wife a few years ago. His movies are always about bodies merging with technology. And so in this movie, it seems like the technology is following the bodies into death. So he's grieving and he's bringing his style to it. Looking forward to that. There's also a very strong Canadian contingent from Winnipeg. So Kate Blanchett, Alicia Vikander, starring in Rumor, directed by Winnipeg's beloved son, Guy Madden. It's about G7 leaders lost in the woods. The Winnipeg to the world moment. And this Winnipeg and the world moment also extends to Matthew Rankin. His new movie, Universal Language, is also very international. That has like some Wes Anderson vibes. Lots of fun to watch that. Let's end it with our gal, Lily Gladstone. She is actually part of the jury this year. I'm exploding with joy for her, but why is this such an amazing moment for Lily? She's getting her flowers. We were here a year ago when she was making her big breakout debut on the red carpet for Killers of the Flower Moon. Gorgeously dressed then, gorgeously dressed today. What I love about her on the jury is she likes to keep people honest. Lily Gladstone is a voice that will not be held back. Well, Cannes is just getting started. We've got more exciting movie news. That's right.